Hi friends, welcome to our YouTube channel. I am Adarsha B, second year MCOM, fourth semester, Department of Postgraduate Studies and Research in Commerce, Kovim University, Jnana Sayadri Shankargata. Today I am explaining about transportation system in India. Now we explain about introductions of transportation. India is one of the developing country. It has second largest population in the world. The country economic development does not depend on the development of agriculture, industry and mines alone, but also on the development of means of transportation. In this country, the goods transfer from one place to another place use the transportation system. The transportation system plays a significant role in the economic development of a nation. The transportation system in India consists of assorted modes of transportation which including road transport, civil aviation, rail transport, inland water transport, coastal transport and pipelines and so on. It helps in removing the distance barrier. An efficient transportation system is essential for sustainable economic development of the country and plays a significant role in promoting national and global integration. An efficient transportation helps in increasing productivity and enhance competitiveness of the economy. Efficient transportation is indispensable to the economic development of a nation. Transportation is the foundation stone of economic infrastructure. It helps in the development of trade, commerce and industry. Transportation removes the hindrance of place and facilities the movement of goods from producers to consumer. These days, transportation is known as the symbol of civilization. The traditional mode of transportation is walking, volgian, bull cart, horse ride, hand pulled rickshaws, etc. Meaning of transportation Transport or transportation is the movement of humans, animals, and goods from one place to another. In other words, the actions of transportation is different as a particular movement of an organism or thing from point A to the point B. Transport, British English, or transportation, American English, is the movement of people and goods from one place to another. The term is derived from the Latin trans means across and portrait or to means to carry. India's transport sector is large and diverse. It caters to the need of 1.1 billion people. In 2017, the sector contributing about 5.5% to the national GDP with road transportation contributing the lion's share. Good physical continuities in the urban and rural areas is essential for economic growth. Since the early 1990s, India's growing economy has witnessed a rise in depend for transport infrastructure and services. However, the sector has not been able to keep pace with rising demand and is proving to be a drag on the economy. Major improvement in the sector are therefore required to support the country's continued economic growth and to reduce poverty. The world view live today is a place that is driven by innovation and technologies. Transportation is made easy with the driver's means of transportation options that come with a wide range of facilities and offer high class services to people. Advantages of transportation the advantages of transport can be realized from the social and economic progress of the nation which have been generated by this sector in India during the planned periods. First, economic benefits. Better productions in both agriculture and industrial sector. Transport system has helped in the growth in industrial and agriculture production. It has been transporting raw material and labor to the place of production and by carrying the products produced by this sector to different parts of the country and other countries of the world. Reductions in cost of production. The transportation network reduces the cost of manufactured goods and lowers the price in the markets. Reductions in scarcities. It helps in solving the problems of scarcities of goods and factors in different regions of the country. Growth in foreign trade. It helps in promoting foreign trade of the country. A country's export and import cannot develop without good parts, shipping and cargo facilities. Thus, transportation system makes a network for transactions among different regions as well as with other countries. Specializations of labor and mobilizations of resources. By the efficient and effective transportation system, the benefit of specializations of labor and proper mobilizations can be achieved. Thus, an economic system makes the best use of resources through a good transport system. Promotions of tourism. An ideal transportation promotes tourism system or services all over the country. Expands the market. Market for both industrial and agricultural products expand both on the domestic and international front with the expansion of transport network. For example, through the expansion of road, rails and water transportation is get good success making links between different parts of the countries and with other countries of the world. Second one is social benefit. More employment opportunities. 
transport has to create employment opportunities and thus it provide employment through helping mobilities of workers about 18 lakh people are employed in indian railways in the same way lakhs of people are employed in roadways shipping and air transport higher standard of living transportation has reduced distance as a result we enjoy the positions to use various varieties of things produced in different corner of the world these standard commodities increase our standard living with depend upon goods and services we consume relationship between villages and cities means of transportation has reduced the distance between villages and cities men and material move from villages to cities and from cities to village villagers can now avail of the employment opportunities available in cities village in close contact of cities develop faster importance of transportation transportation links the different fixed cities and market and thus to neutralize the spatial separations of the cities transport makes it possible to carry raw material from place where they are available to place where they are to be pressed and assembled into semi finished or finished goods transport make movement of finished goods possible to consumers spread in different locations of the country consuming goods produced at distant place transport gives consumers the choice to make use of different qualities of goods of different price so it raises the standard of living of the people transport make large scale production possible by making all required materials and manpower available at the place finally selected for manufactured large scale production lower down cost per unit transportation provide employment opportunities to individuals engaged in producing operating and maintaining various means of transportation transport has people to work in different industries and factories most industri- industries have their own transport system to bring the workers to the place of work transport facilitates movement of people and goods from one country to another it helps in exchange of culture views and practices among the people of different countries which create better understanding and helps in promoting a feeling of international brother now we explain about modes and means of transportation transportation is possible through land air or water which are called the different mode of transport on land you use trucks tractors etc to carry goods trains buses cars etc to carry passenger in air you use aeroplanes helicopter to carry passenger as well as goods in water you use ships steamers boats etc to carry goods and passenger all these are known as various means of transportation that's are water transport air transport land transportation first water transport water transport refer to movement of goods and passenger on waterways by using various means like boats steamers launches ships etc some advantages of water transportation it is the relatively economical mode of transportation for bulky and heavy goods it is a safe mode of transport with respect to occurrence of accident it promote international trade some disadvantages of water transportation it is adversely affected by water condition sea transport require large investment in ships and their maintenance second mode of transportation is air transportation this is the fastest mode of transport it carries goods and passenger through airways by using different aircraft like passenger aircraft cargo aircraft helicopter etc air transportation may be classified as domestic and international air transport the domestic air transport mainly facilitate movement within country international air transport is used for carrying goods and passenger among different countries some advantages of air transportation are as follows it is the fastest mode of transportation it is the most convenient mode of transport during natural climates it provide vital support to the national security and defense some disadvantages of air transportation it is relatively more expensive mode of transportation it is not suitable for transporting heavy and bulky goods it is affected by adverse weather conditions third mode of transportation is land transportation land transportation refer to activities of physical movement of goods and passenger on land this transportation may be classified into four types are as follows road transport railway transport roadway transport pipeline transport first one is road transportation roads are the means that connect one place to another on the surface of the land some of them are made of sand and some may be of chips and can cement or coal tar there are different vehicles playing on roads like bullock carts cycles motorcycles car trucks buses etc second types of land transportation is rail transportation 
Transportation of goods and passengers on rides, lines through trains is called rail transportation. It is the most dependable mode of transportation to carry goods and passengers over a long distance. Rail use teams, diesels, or electronic power to move. Some advantages of railways are as follows. Traveling has become cheaper. Defense of the country is less difficult. Third types of land transportation is pipelines transport. Pipelines are used for water supply to residential and commercial areas and petroleum and natural gas from one place to another. But the cost of installation and maintenance is quite high. Fourth types of land transportation is rupee transport. Rupee refer to the mode of transport which connect two places on the hills or across a valley or river. In the hilly areas, trolley move on wheel connected to a roof and are used for carrying passenger or goods, especially building materials, food, etc. This is my topic transportation system in India. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and share.